I'm 2.5 weeks post-affair breakup and no contact, and I'm wondering how to forgive myself. I haven't come clean to my boyfriend of six years yet. The affair lasted on and off for 11 months. After careful consideration, both my affair partner and I decided to end things. We both feel strongly that this was so wrong. I'm a highly skilled professional, and the affair was with my mentor. We work in academia, which makes things even more complicated. What I'm struggling with most now is how to forgive myself for what I did. I want to practice self-compassion, but I don't even know where to start. The other issue I'm facing is trusting my own decisions. My entire life before the affair, I trusted my instincts and believed that I was making good decisions for myself. Those decisions led me to become extremely successful in my pursuits, and as far as I knew, I had strong friendships and relationships. But since the breakup with AP, I no longer trust my instincts. Why did I think starting something I couldn't see to the finish line a sound decision? I find myself second-guessing everything. I can't tell if my decisions are coming from a place of ego or if I'm leading with humility. It's like I lost the compass that used to guide me and I'm struggling to trust myself again. In the past, I always had a strong sense of direction and purpose. I didn't doubt myself when making difficult decisions. But after what happened, I wonder if I can still trust myself or if I'm too flawed to rely on my judgment anymore. How do you rebuild that trust with your own self after making such a serious mistake? Part of the problem is the guilt. I feel immense guilt not only for what I did, but for hiding it. I know that honesty and transparency are crucial for a healthy relationship, and yet I'm withholding something so significant from my boyfriend. But at the same time, I don't want to destroy him or the life we built. If he knew how intimate and intricate our affair was, I doubt there'd be any coming back from it. Which is really why I want to withhold that information from him for as long as I possibly can. I want to find a way to forgive myself. I want to reassure myself that I'm not a bad person. Just someone who made a bad decision. Maybe a series of bad decisions. My mentor gave me several chances to back down before we headed down this destructive yet addictive path. I didn't. I was too attracted to him at that point. It was almost pathological. How do you practice self-compassion after doing something you deeply regret? How do you let yourself off the hook without minimizing the impact of your actions? Is there a way to be kind to yourself while also acknowledging the hurt you've caused? These are the questions I keep asking myself, and I don't have any answers. I also want to understand how to move forward in a way that is healthier and more aligned with who I truly am. The person I became during the affair doesn't reflect my values, but I don't want to deny or run from that part of me either. How do you make peace with your past mistakes while working toward being a better version of yourself? Update. D-Day was last week. My partner discovered that I had an affair with my AP, though he's unaware of most details. The affair had ended in August after he felt guilty about betraying his fiancée. But the truth came out recently. My partner had suspected something back in April and had been on alert since then. Eventually, he got proof after installing a keylogger on my laptop, which feels like a serious violation of my privacy and boundaries. But once the truth came out, I shut down emotionally and distanced myself from our relationship. Since then, I've been in counseling, trying to process everything and work through the fallout. I've written detailed apology letters to my partner, which I've read aloud to him. I've taken full accountability for the affair and for the hurt I've caused. I've worked hard to improve my emotional intelligence, become a better listener, and be more attentive to his emotional needs. At the beginning, I really struggled with answering the questions. I would clam up and not give much away, which he interpreted as me being evasive and manipulative. But I realized my own shame and defensiveness were getting in the way, so I've been trying to move past that. I've been trying to answer all his questions no matter how painful. And I've made it clear that I want to work on our relationship. But despite all of this, things seem to be getting worse. The questioning hasn't stopped, and the intensity just keeps increasing. My partner's getting more and more angry, sometimes would openly call me names and lash out at me. Yesterday, he told me he's moving out. He's already rented a new flat and seems ready to leave without looking back. I was completely blindsided by this. When I asked him what was going to happen to me, he just asked back, 
What about you? I don't even know where we stand anymore. He remains unrepentant about his behavior and doesn't see anything wrong with how he's treated me since D-Day. In his eyes, I'm to blame for everything, and I'm manipulating the situation by playing the victim. I understand that he's hurting. I know that the affair was a massive betrayal, and I'm not trying to excuse that, but I feel like things have gone too far. Yes, I made terrible decisions, and yes, I've hurt him deeply. I've taken ownership of that, but does that mean he can just walk away whenever he wants to and just not even give me a proper heads up? I'm scared to even ask where we stand because every time I bring it up, he explodes. The emotional volatility has been so extreme that I'm walking on eggshells constantly. It's like I'm stuck in this transitional stage and I don't know how to move forward. I don't want to give up on our relationship, but I'm terrified that he already has. I don't know how to handle the situation anymore. Is it possible to keep working on things when one person is so set on leaving? Am I holding on to a relationship that's already over? And if it is over, how do I let go when I still feel so much responsibility for the hurt I've caused? Story 2. My ex, 22F, left me, 23M, and our two-year relationship for her friend. Now she left him for me. It's been three years since I first met my ex. We had just started working for the same company. I still work there, she moved to another job, when she decided to approach me. A few dates later, we became inseparable, and she moved in with me. A year later, we got engaged and decided to move to a larger apartment. This is when things started heading south. The relationship started falling apart piece by piece. She became extremely jealous of my female friend, to the point where I lost contact with most of them. I went back to my roots and was sat in front of my computer playing video games at every given chance. Despite this, we still had our perfect days when it seemed we were truly meant for each other. About two months before she left me, I made an attempt to revive what we once had, tried taking her out for dinners, planning romantic evenings. You know the deal. She showed little interest. Her time was spent with her friends. One of these friends is the guy she left me for. To add salt to the wound, I saw them kissing in public one week after we broke up. I was devastated when she left me, and the year that followed was harsh but very healthy for me. Realized that I was a skinny, boring nerd with few friends and even fewer interests. Found an outlet for my emotions at the gym. Gained some new friendships, rekindled some old ones, and overall became a more social and interesting person. Two months ago, my ex decides to contact me through Messenger. We're just having casual conversation for a few days and eventually she calls me. Tells me she regrets leaving and wants to see me. I agree for her to come to my apartment. She spends the night with me. No sex or kisses. What follows is like a rerun of our last relationship. My ego skyrockets due to all the compliments she constantly drops, but mostly due to the fact that I won her back. We decide to date, but in reality, she's basically living with me. Last few weeks have been pure fun. Going to parties, Netflix and chill. She even booked and paid for a weekend in our capital where we went shopping. Now problems are starting to arise. What she told me when she first visited was she broke up with her boyfriend two weeks ago. She did indeed break up with him, but two days after, she spent the night with me. When this comes to my attention, I ask her to leave. She's crying. I'm pissed. I'm telling her I cannot trust a person that lies about that. She offers me access to all her social media in an attempt to make me feel more secure, but I decline. Don't want to be that type of person. Start asking myself if she did the same to me as she did to him. Now here I am, questioning if me getting back with her was just some lousy attempt at proving something. Regaining my pride, things don't feel like they used to. Being scared to death that she would leave me, that I was not good enough. Now it's not on my mind anymore. No, I'll do just fine without her in my life, but at the same time, I want her there. Under different circumstances, I'm positive her, and I would have made very good friends. Give your two cents. Ride the wave for a while longer, see how it goes, or cut her off completely. Update. I posted here on Friday about getting back with my ex-girlfriend. Unfortunately, my post was not in the slightest as honest as it should have been. I came here looking for someone to tell me it was okay getting back with her, that time had changed both me and her. What I got was the realization that nothing had changed, 
and that I should probably research narcissistic personalities. Today, when she got home from work, I was already sitting on the couch, waiting for her. The second she set foot in the living room, I told her that me and her are not working out. She immediately gave me a hug, asking if I were being serious, and I said yes. What followed were two hours of us both crying, hugging, and her pleading for me to stay. You can't do this to me. You need to give me a chance. I've changed. Don't listen to what people say. We've made so many plans for our future. It all felt so wrong. In my mind, it was all so wrong. Making the both of us cry, leaving something that, for the moment, felt so very good. My mind started traveling back and forth, all of it very, very confusing. One minute, all I could think of was how deeply she's hurt me. The other, how her teary eyes made me feel like the worst person ever. Eventually, I told her that she needed to leave. She still has a ton of clothes, makeup, and whatever at my place. Offered to pack it, but she said she'll manage it herself. That she'll call when she can collect her belongings. Suffered a major breakdown when she left. She's been on my mind every minute since. I see that what she did was horrible. How can you miss a person that isolated you? Someone who told you how ugly you are? A person whose excuses consists of keep feeling sorry for yourself? Someone who spreads rumors of you cheating on her after she cheated on you? When she left me, it was via text. No explanation, no nothing. Despite it being dreadful, I still met up with her, told her why and wished her the best of luck. That's the difference. When she discards you, you've served your purpose and are not worthy of more time. I still have that respect and kindness in me. She deserves an explanation as to why. Might not seem like much, but I do take pride in this. I choose to be a better person. While she does fit the criteria of a narcissist very well, I can never be sure. But I don't even need to be. The fact that she treated me like she's one should be enough not to miss her. The following months should be interesting. Maybe I never were a good boyfriend. Maybe there are faults with me I don't see. What matters is I truly believe I treated her with respect, compassion, and love. Hopefully one day someone will do the same to me. Last time we were together, I sometimes cried like a fucking loser when she had fallen asleep, thinking to myself, I need to leave this woman, but maybe tomorrow she'll be sweet. Now that I have left her, I'll be crying alone in my bed that I finally did it. I understand how conflicting it must feel to miss someone who treated you poorly. It's natural to feel both the pull of good memories and the weight of the bad ones at the same time. Your instincts to leave, despite the emotional turmoil, were the right ones. You're prioritizing your mental health and emotional well-being, which is critical after being in a relationship that drained you. As tough as the next few months might be, keep reminding yourself of your growth. You've done the hard part by breaking free from a relationship that wasn't serving you. Healing will take time, but every step away from the toxicity will be a step closer to peace and finding the kind of relationship that you truly deserve. Take care of yourself during this period and don't hesitate to lean on the friends and support systems you've built along the way. They'll be a huge help in getting through the difficult days ahead. And remember, it's okay to grieve this relationship, but don't lose sight of the strength and clarity you've gained by leaving her behind. Stay strong and good luck with the journey ahead.